This is a GTX 1070 and it's almost seven years old. Yes, I know it doesn't feel like it's that old. So I thought, how well does a mid-range GPU from 2016 perform at 4K in games which have released well after its launch date? And to be honest, I got this idea while I was just sitting here at my desk pretty bored and I need to get some content out of this GTX 1070 before I eventually sell it on. With all that out of the way, I hope it would make for a pretty good video and I think it probably does. I'm not gonna get into the specs here because I went over them in a video which I released not too long ago. You can either find it up here or here. I can't remember where YouTube puts the card for it. But I went over the specs and I tested it at 1080p, which I think is the resolution you should be playing at if you have a 1070. So before we get into the video, what resolution do you play your games at? I personally play at 1440p on my monitor and I play at 4K on my TV as well. But what do you play at? All testing today is done at 4K, so that's 3840 by 2160. And in some games, FSR is enabled, which technically doesn't class as 4K as the game's not being rendered at 4K. However, FSR is a really good upscaling technology with not that much of a quality loss compared to just rendering at a resolution outright. So I'm going to include these. And to be honest, FSR, pretty clutch for these GTX cards as well. And all testing is done on my test bench system which has a Ryzen 5 5600G, 16 gigabytes of CL18, 3600 MHz DDR4 memory, a one terabyte Sabrent Gen 3 NVMe SSD, and it also has a Asus Strix B550-F gaming. Starting off with one synthetic benchmark and that is Unigine Superposition. However, instead of the 1080p medium, what we usually do, I set it to 4K optimized and the GTX 1070 got 5,405 as its score. So I have nothing to compare that to. So it's probably okay, I guess. First game up today is God of War 2018. I've recently finished it. It's, it's actually quite an incredible game, if I'm honest. But here with the GTX 1070, we set it to the original quality and we set FSR to the balance preset on there. And this netted us 43 FPS on average with 35 FPS for the 1% low. This was taken while roaming around the lake in Midgard, just doing some platforming and God of War stuff, so. Yeah, this is going to be pretty indicative of what the game's going to perform like. Next game up is F122, and unlike God of War, this game is actually pretty easy to run. And because of this, we set it to the medium preset with absolutely no FSR enabled, and this netted us 58 FPS on average with a 1% low of 45 FPS. The medium preset still looks pretty decent on this game, and having no FSR enabled as well makes the game look very sharp too, so not bad here from F1. GTA 5 is up next and it's a pretty OG game in my benchmarking roster, I always have to include it. And here we managed to set the settings to high with no MSAA enabled as you don't really need it at 4K to be honest. And there was no advanced settings enabled too. This got us 78 FPS on average with 60 FPS for the 1% low. It was a nice smooth experience with no hitches or stutters or anything like that and the game looked pretty good too. Another new game I've started testing recently is Horizon Zero Dawn and here I managed to get the original preset which is the original sort of like PlayStation 4 graphics and we set the FSR to quality so we're not losing that much of uh, quality in terms of sharpness and we got 48 FPS on average with 37 FPS for the 1% low. The game does look pretty good, but I'd probably bump that FSR quality down to balance just to get a bit of a higher frame rate. Rainbow Six Siege is up next, and this is probably the easiest game to run today, if I'm honest. And in the in-game benchmark, we set the preset to medium. This got us 113 FPS on average with 93 FPS for the 1% low. So not bad performance here at all i don't recommend competitively playing siege on a uh, scenario like this but if you want to do that fair enough another new game we've got all the new games in the benchmarking roster today because i have bought some new ones 
We have Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and in the multiplayer benchmark with the settings set to low with FSR on balanced we got 53 FPS on average with 32 FPS for the 1% low. The stutters here were quite bad in the multiplayer especially when uh, sort of like semtexes and explosions were going off so that is why the 1% low is quite bad so I don't recommend playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 at 4K on the GTX 1070. Last up today is Cyberpunk and if you told me 12 months ago that I'll be playing Cyberpunk at 4K in a GTX 1070 I would have laughed at you but however now we've set it to the medium settings with FSR 2.1 on balanced and this got us 32 FPS on average with 27 FPS for the 1% low. So yeah the game looked pretty good nothing really to write home about on the medium preset but it's playable at 4k on a gtx 1070 which is pretty incredible performance overall is generally just okay i guess but if you factor in what the gtx 1070 is it was a mid-range car that launched in 2016 performance is i'd say passable it's not bad fsr did save the gtx 1070 quite a lot during the benchmarking process especially in god of war and horizon zero dawn as at just normal 4k the 1070 wouldn't have stood a chance it would have been sub 30 easily so do i recommend going out and using a gtx 1070 to play games at 4k and the answer to that is a resounding no don't do it at 1080p maybe even 1440p the 1070, perfectly fine for that. 4K is definitely a no-go. Get something like a 3080 or a 2080 Ti if you want to shop more on a budget for that. But thanks to FSR, 4K gaming in relatively newer games is possible on a GTX card. Technically, 4K gaming. But it's certainly not the best situation. I don't recommend playing on 4K on any GTX card, even the 1080 Ti at this rate, so yeah. With all that being said, I'm going to leave the video here, so if you like this video, like it, stay subscribed for more tech content, and I'll catch you in the next one.